Hmm, this anime looks kinda dry, not gonna lie. Oh, it's made by the same animators of Naruto and Bleach, gotta check it out. Hey what's good guys, this is Dorian here, today let's talk about Tokyo Ghoul. So Tokyo Ghoul is a series that everyone knows by now because of how popular it is and how much images of Kaneki from the manga have spread throughout the world. But yeah, Tokyo Ghoul, initially back when it was first released, it did not actually do so well. Why was it looked down upon so though? Well, there are a few reasons for that, although the thing is that Actually, a lot of people did like it at first, but soon, the pop very quickly, the popularity went down after just one season. Why did that happen though? So, the key problem here is that Tokyo Ghoul was made by the same studio as Naruto and Bleach, that being Studio p -Rot. So, the point was that when Tokyo Ghoul was first teased to everyone, everyone did not just like it at first, but when they saw that it was from Studio p -Rot, and yes, Studio p -Rot explicitly mentioned that, in the trailer that it's from the creators of Naruto and Bleach to promote Tokyo Ghoul to the newer fans. So yeah, that was the tactic that Studio Pirati used to promote Tokyo Ghoul since everyone was kind of looking down on it because Sui Ishida himself said that Tokyo Ghoul was his first scene in manga, which is well something that a lot of people are inclined to look down upon since it's the first time someone is making a scene in manga. So is he gonna do it with as much potential as someone else would? So yeah, that's something that really made people look down on Tokyo Ghoul initially, but when they saw that it was from the same creators as Naruto and Bleach, however, their eyes lit up and they just had to watch it. So when they watched through the first season, it was really goreful, yes, it, were, it was really gory, and yeah, since, well, even just three episodes in, you can see how much more gore this, se this show has than Naruto and Bleach with how much more it is about eating and literally superficial cannibalism. I say superficial because, well, it's not really actual humans on the other end, but yeah, it's it was really kind of too much to take in for new people at the same time. And that's that, that, that difference that the experience really made people like Tokyo Ghoul, especially towards the end too, since Kaneki had a really badass fight scene. So yeah, however, since this first season did rel relatively well with even the opening, the opening literally became the most viewed opening on all of anime a few years later. Yes, the opening Unravel is just is, is still to the day, to, to still till this day con considered one of the best ones out there, the best openings out there. So yeah, what happened was after one season, Studio P. R. Look at, took a messy turn. So already there were a few people saying that the anime manga is way better as since season 1 release, but in season 2, Studio p -Rot could not have failed to prove them wrong much more. Since in season 2, they actually decided to diverge from the manga after one episode. So what they did was they released season 2 titled Tokyo Ghoul Root Alpha or Tokyo Ghoul Root A, whatever you want to call it. But yes, Tokyo Ghoul Root Alpha or otherwise Tokyo Ghoul Root A did not really succeed that well. Why not though? Well, the reason for that being is the fact that they actually diverged from the manga, which a lot of which already brought a lot of criticism. And by the time Tokyo Ghoul Rute ended, the the <laughs> the non-canon scene where yes, this was a non-canon scene where Hide dies. Yeah, that actually never happens. But yeah, the non-canon scene where Hide dies actually <laughs> broke the internet and became one of the most popular searched anime scenes ever before of course Dragon Ball Super came along and took that spotlight from it. But yeah, Tokyo Ghoul Rute did not really do well and was a step down from the first season. Even the opening, the opening just looks cringe from as compared to the first one which was really badass. But yes, this really started to take Tokyo Ghoul's popularity a bit down and when Tokyo Ghoul re-released, this was the biggest misstep to Studio Pirat could ever make. Not only was the fact that they sk skimmed down so much of the manga bad enough and that they actually decided to diverge from it already bad enough, what they did was they actually decided to skim down a manga that was literally, since Tokyo Ghoul Ru Re is more different from to the original Tokyo Ghoul in that it relies a lot upon epiphanies since 
meaning that it relies a lot about it relies a lot upon realizations that you as a reader make or yeah so that was the problem here when you shorten down a show that much you pretty much have the same problem as the promised Leverland in season 2 which i actually predicted by the way but yeah when when yeah what that happens it's to, uh, to series like Tokyo Ghoul Re that is literally built upon the viewer having realizations as they grow through and the entire story being shortened down so much, it actually just takes the plot down really low. And that's why the Tokyo Ghoul anime kind of died from that point for a bit and no one really decided to that, no one really thought this anime had any potential anymore and yeah, Tokyo Ghoul season, <laughs> season 3 part 2 actually proved that part right or rather season 4 if you want to call it but yeah re part 2 proved that that is right in that part that Tokyo Ghoul really did go downhill from season 1 onwards but the manga was so good though that it's sad that a lot of people never bothered to check it out but however this was not the end for everything since eventually although youtubers were reluctant about it at first they actually decided to give it a go and during the 2020s, the early 2020s, aka even now, they are actually watching it still and they are re they have realized what a masterpiece of manga of Tokyo Ghoul is and that the anime it did not really get a lot of good treatment from Studio p -Rod. the same way it did not get a good treatment from Naru and Bleach, but even worse still so because this was Studio p -Rod's failed attempt at fixing their problem with Naru and Bleach a filler problem. They thought that if they took their own route, they won't have to deal with filler and the fact that if the Shardens think so much, it won't have the same problem where Naru and Bleach ended up having so many episodes which fans really despise Studio Pirot for. But yeah, regardless, Tokyo Ghoul's true potential came out in the end now and so many people are demanding a faithful adaptation for it. So yeah, that was the journey to Tokyo Ghoul took as a series and that out the way, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like and subscribe and tell me what kind of video would you like to see more in the down in the comments down below. With that out of the way, also turn on the notifications if you want to keep up with more uploads. But yeah, this has been Dorian guys. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace gamers. Bye.